in this tutorial we are going to learn about html computer code elements okay inside html we are having some tags which are used for printing computer codes okay like if you are having one program if you want to print that inside your website then you can use that tag and you can display the output and let's see how to write the code and how to display the output using computer code elements inside html okay now here i have written this one html computer code now here i'm just writing one paragraph now inside this i'm just going to write here x is equal to 3 semicolon then y is equal to 4 then if i just want to print this one let me just print here x plus y i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see this is going to print me in the same way okay whatever i have given here that has been printed but this is nothing but this is paragraph now in my website if i'm having something like this okay this kind of code then i can't use paragraph okay for that we are having specific tags so that we can display that one okay now here i'm just going to write this one okay we are having code okay inside this code element i'm just going to write this one x is equal to 3 let me just write here y is equal to 4 and x plus y Okay, whatever answer, let me just write here z is equal to x plus y. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the font family has been changed. You can see here, I'll just increase. You can see here, the font family has been changed. By default, we are going to have here monoscape font family and this is the default font family for the paragraph. Okay, you can see once we use this code element, this is like a code. Okay, whatever we want, that will be printed. Now here, if you notice, now here I have written in separate lines, but here I am getting this output in the same line. So for that, whatever I have written here, this entire thing, I just have to preserve that one. Okay, so here I am just going to write this PRE, preserve, and this tag we have already seen in our series. Now here I just have to close this one. Now once I give this, now whatever format I am having here, that will be preserved. I will refresh this. Now you can see here I am having x is equal to 3 y is equal to 4 and z is equal to x plus y okay this is okay this space whatever i am having here even that space has been printed here okay this blue space whatever i am having here even that will be printed now i am just going to remove the spaces i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see this will be my output and the font family has been changed okay if you are having any code inside your website okay, you can just use this code tag and you can display the code here let me just write h2 and inside this i'll be writing here program program to find square root of an element okay now for this i'm just going to write this one let me just write here pre and inside this i just want to write this code okay now i have already written the code i'll just do control b now inside this i'm having this one i'll just copy this and here i'm just going to paste that one okay you don't have to worry what is this code okay this is basically python code to find the square root of a number i'm just going to remove extra spaces i'll just remove this extra spaces okay this is my code okay if you're having this kind of code you can use this code okay this is computer code element you can use that one and you can print the output okay using paragraph also you can give but for that we are having specific elements so why we have to use paragraph instead of using this one inside html we are having plenty of elements we are having plenty of tags so you should use whichever is required okay whichever is necessary and whichever is made for that one you have to use that i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see this is my heading now here this entire program will be printed let me just decrease the size now you can see this entire code whatever i have written here that has been printed now in the same way i'll just copy this one now if i just print this inside paragraph i'll just print this one i'll refresh this now you can see this is going to be printed like this and here this is font family is default for the paragraph okay this is for code okay, by default i'll be getting monoscope font family for this one okay here i don't have any font family changed now in the same way if i just write this one i'll be writing here pre tag inside this i'm just going to paste that one i'll save this let me just remove the spaces I'll refresh this one now you can see even this is giving me the same output and even this is giving me the same output okay but it will be good if you are using specific tag okay for this we are having code tag so wrap this entire thing inside code tag and if you want to preserve the spaces whatever I am having here then only you have to wrap inside this preserve tag okay this is how we are going to write the code okay next here for this we will be having one output okay this is my output the square root of now to print this output I can use paragraph also I'll save this I'll refresh this one okay now you can see this is my output let me just remove from here and let me just put it here okay where I am having code okay here I'll be putting that one I'll save this and this entire thing I'm just going to comment it out let me just remove this one I'll save 
I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the square root of this one is this. I got this output. But here I don't want this one. Okay. Again, I don't need this one. Let me just wrap inside one paragraph. And here I'm going to paste and let me just remove this text from here. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now this is my output. Okay. The square root of 8 is 2.828. As I told you for this code, we are having code element. For printing this output also, we are having one element. So for that, instead of writing this paragraph, we are having this one. Okay. To print any sample output, we are having SAMP element. Inside that, I'm just going to paste that one. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see I'll be getting this kind of font family and here I'm having this kind of output. Okay, you can see the basic difference between this and this. When you are writing this kind of code inside your website, then you can use this sample element to print your output. Let me just comment this paragraph and here this will be my output. Okay, for any program, if you want to write, you can just use this code and sample to display. Here we are having many formulas. Okay, we are having perimeter of circle, area of circle. Okay, for each and every shape, we are having particular formulas. Okay, finding the length, finding the breadth. Okay, we are having many formulas. We are not going to see any formula, but only to explain you, I'm just going to use one simple formula. Let me just take it as uh, 2 into B into H. Okay, I'm just taking that one. Now here I'm just going to write one paragraph inside this 2 into B into H. Okay, here I have written this one 2 into B into H. I'll refresh this. Okay, now here I'm having this output 2 into B into H. Okay, to print any formula, to print any formula, this is nothing but our variable. Okay, this is nothing but our variable. To print any formula, if you just want to display any formula inside your website, then here I'm just writing one paragraph. I'm just writing here 2 into. Okay, now this B is variable and H is also variable. So we are having this variable element. Inside this, I'm just going to write this B. Again, I have this into. Again, inside variable tag, I'm just going to write here H. I'll save this. Okay, 2 into, I have wrapped B inside this variable element. Okay, inside this variable tag, I have wrapped. And here I'm having H and inside this variable tag, I have wrapped. I'll come here. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see the basic difference between this and this. Okay, now this is having the normal, okay, whatever default font I'm having for paragraph that has been displayed. But you can see here for variables B and H, you can see it has been slightly slanted. Okay, it is in italic format. So for that, we are just giving this variable so that we can tell this is the variable. Okay, this is the normal paragraph and this using variable, I got this one. Okay, even if you don't give variable and in the same way, let me just come here. And here I am having many, okay, we are having plenty of options. I'm just writing here I. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. You can see again, I'm getting the same output. But as I told you, for each and everything, we are having separate tag, separate elements. Okay, for each and everything, we don't have to write whatever comes to our mind. Okay, for that, we are having specific tags and specific elements. I'm not telling that you have to learn or by heart entire elements and entire tags. But you should know when to use that one and where you have to use and where you should not use. Okay, so for each and everything, we are having separate elements. So you should be careful while using that one. Okay, if you don't know as a beginner, you can start with paragraphs, you can start with pre tag, but you should also know that these tags also exist in HTML and we can use these tags for this particular things. Okay, if you want to display some code, if you want to display the output, we are having the sample element. If you want to display any variables, we are having variable elements. And also, if you just want, okay, now here I'm having. Control plus S will be saving my file. Okay, now if I just want to print this one, okay, for that also we are having one tag. Let me just write here KBD. Okay, this is nothing but keyboard input. I'll just remove this. Okay, KBD stands for keyboard input, and inside this we can just store that. Okay, this short forms we can just store. Let me just write here Control, Control plus S. I'll save this one. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now this is going to be printed like this. Okay, control plus S. Now in the same way, if I just give this in paragraph, I'll just write here control plus S. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see there is a slight change in the font family. Okay, for giving this kind of tags, okay, like control plus S, control plus N, control plus O. Okay, we are having many shortcuts. Okay, if you want to display that inside your website, then you can use this keyboard input tag to display that one. Okay, again, we are just going to revise whatever we have seen. This is the code tag and this is the code element. And inside this, whatever code you want to print inside your website, you can just print that one. Okay, to give, to show the output of this particular code, you can use sample tag and inside that, whatever output you are getting that you can print. Again, we are having this variable tag. If you are having some variables inside our work, Okay, if we are having some variables inside our formula, then we can use this variable and we can wrap that variables inside that variable element. 
okay now finally we are having this one kbd keyboard input tag and inside this if you are having this kind of shortcuts inside our website then we can use this one and we can display the output inside our website okay this is all about html computer code elements okay you practice this one i'm not telling you to buy hard this just practice this one so that you will get to know this tags are also present in html and whenever is required you can use this kind of tags and you can display the output okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day